This is Dark Khan, a whale player in Kingdom 3326, whose highest power ever was 180 million going into KVK. And today we're going to see if the players in 3325 can actually zero them. Now, look, it's not every day that you see a 180 million power whale get zeroed, but it's even more rare for them to get zeroed in KVK1. That's right, 180 million power in KVK1. Now, I don't know what this player spent to get their account to that level and it depends on what country they're in but I'm almost positive it is five figures somebody speculated it was 50,000 I don't know if that's accurate or not but one thing that I do know is that 180 million power by the time you hit kvk1 is absolutely insane and the fact that this player allegedly hasn't been logging in for like a week brother it never ceases to amaze me how much money these players can spend and they just they're reckless with their accounts bro oh my god I wish I was rich now before we jump into the footage of course what's going on guys cheers Fun little fact about 69% of you guys are not subscribed. So consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the thumbs up button while you're down there. Okay, let's jump into the footage here and you can see that he started the zeroing process at 153.6 million power with a 616 million kill points so that means that they lost about 27 million power actually fighting in kvk i've been told by players who fought against this guy that he was basically like solo filling flags maybe solo swarming down flag builds so this dude is actually insane and you're gonna see his garrison in a second it actually does pop off and guys if you haven't played in kvk1 in a while or you haven't played against players like this in kvk1 mega whales like him are really hard to take down in kvk1 because you don't have crystal tech you don't have the massive troop capacity you don't have a bunch of whales with t5 troops that have almost 400,000 units in their armies that can swarm them down with some of the meta commanders you are stuck with gold key commanders in kvk1 also of course ysg and richard so a player like this is an absolute menace so we're gonna see how they're taken down by players in kingdom 3327 and i think they get support from 3325 as well if i'm not mistaken and here we can see before they got zero they had 4.2 million dead troops and that is definitely going to change this is a screenshot of the scout report you could see that he's got billions of resources and 10.2 million troops in his city with a fully expertise garrison here we have charles martel primary with ysg secondary that is an excellent city defense especially in kvk1 and the fact that they're both expertise is also very impressive he had over three million of each troop type all of which are tier five almost his entire city is exclusively tier five units which is honestly insane now of course you can see that dark Khan has the general title here so their kingdom knows that this player is probably going to get zeroed which again in kvk1 like sometimes players this strong can just get away with not logging in because it's really hard to crack a fully expertise martel ysg when all you have are kvk1 players i mean a lot of these players don't even have tier 5 units let alone they're running around with epic commanders and gold key commanders at best now one thing i noticed this vermouth player kept sending resources to dark khan throughout the entire process and i for the life of me cannot figure out why it'll probably be very obvious when you guys comment down below and telling me Omniarch you're an idiot here's why they're doing that my assumption is that they're sending them like one corn trying to like notify them on their phone or something like yo you're about to get zero bro come on that's my best guess if you know why you can let me know in the comment section below now kingdom 3327 actually went through a lot of effort to plan out a consistent triple rally strategy and one of the players that was responsible here was this player whose name translates to chase I don't know if that is actually accurate but this player was leading the archer rallies then we had ghost here who's currently the king of the kingdom and this player was leading their cavalry rallies then we had good old t-shirt over here launching the tank rallies with a couple of different combinations and here come the first set of rallies so here you could see t-shirts rally coming in from the left running super slow mind you because it's kvk1 you see it is the martel primary richard secondary then you see the footmos ysg hitting from the bottom there and in just a moment you're going to see the cavalry rally launch from ghost in the bottom left corner that's going to be a minimoto tau tau as well and i think these are probably some of the best rallies that you could do in this scenario right remember we're talking kvk1 there's not really much else that you could do i mean perhaps you could try like a pyrus martel or something like that honestly I, i'm really not sure what the rally meta is in kvk1 anymore it's been literally years since i played kvk1 uh, when i played kvk1 it wasn't called kvk1 it was called kvk because that is 
all that existed back then but regardless here you can see the uh, tank rally is doing its best to hold and there is the ghost rally in the bottom left corner coming in with the minamoto tsao tsao and you got to remember guys in kvk1 these rallies are 2 million troop capacity and this city had over 10 million troops so if you look at the white numbers you can see that it's about even maybe i mean obviously you have to add up the different white numbers from the different rallies but it looks like the uh the garrison is winning right it really it's it's not that even the garrison is is pretty much winning here um you're gonna see when we take a look at the rally reports later in the video uh some of the earlier rally reports are are you know they're good but it man it is just so so costly to take down a player this powerful uh with with just kvk1 commanders it is definitely easier in my opinion to defend your city in kvk1 than it is at any other time i mean these players uh th there's not even formations here right like we don't even see wedge formation right like you got to remember what kvk1 is actually like okay this is like vanilla rise of kingdoms okay this is the the original the base game the classic game okay and you can see that the damage output too like it, it takes these rallies take a really long time they're just chipping away at those 10 million tier 5 units and i'm gonna be i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a spoiler these rallies our majority t4 we're gonna take a look at that later but it is actually shocking how well these rallies did with literally like 95 percent tier four it's ridiculous guys so you're gonna look at the dead count on both sides and say oh my god the dead trades were kind of you know not that great but you got to remember that virtually all the deads from the rallies are tier four and all the deads from the garrison are tier five and you'll see that in the difference in the in the power loss on both sides it's actually kind of insane but here you can see that players you know they're very anxious to get this guy zeroed um they waited a long time to attempt to do this and you can see right there he's already down to 140 million from this triple rally strategy and i gotta say this was very well executed um they had the tank rally hit first you'll see later that they do uh that does get messed up a little bit later on the line uh because it really is you know a bit difficult to coordinate all of this stuff um people you know are, are trying to go throughout their daily lives and also log into rise of kingdoms to to you know do this sort of thing uh, but one of the things you'll know is that obviously the martel ysg hits like an absolute truck in kbk1 and a lot of these players are trying not to stand too close to his city because it will absolutely decimate you if you're too close so here you can see after the first round of triple rallies we see 136.6 million so he started at 153 and is down to 136 after a single round of triple rallies very impressive stuff now this is the first rally report from ghost this was the minamoto tsao tsao and here you could see double the power loss on dark khan's side here unfortunately of course you know we see more deads on the rally side but remember all tier fours against basically all tier fives they're still filling the hospital at this point and you can see the kill points 10.5 million to 6.2 million kill point trade and just as proof of that i mean it's it's all tier fives basically some people actually reinforced dark con i'm not really sure why they would do that maybe they just wanted some kill points or they wanted to try to save him i don't know this guy is one of the strongest players in the entire kvk so really there's not many people that could save them even if they wanted to but here we can see the true buffs everything here is expertise of course and uh yeah you've got some crazy cavalry stats for kvk1 i gotta say here we see some other buffs of course there's no crystal tech or anything like that here so just keep that in mind now this is the first rally report from the thutmose ysg i do believe everything here was expertise okay so keep that in mind here you see 3 million power loss for the rally 7.8 million power loss for the garrison and that's the power of tier 4 baby we see 680 83,000 dead troops for the rally but 451,000 dead troops for the rally and a massive amount of sev wounds as well you could see basically double the kill point trade here 15.6 million to 7.1 million a really strong start with these triple rallies here and then this was the t-shirt rally this was the tanking rally remember now we have an expertise martel and the richard is 5511 which is completely fine i think you know it, it doesn't really make sense to expertise richard these days even if you're a whale it just doesn't really matter so i think this makes a lot of sense especially for someone who's just trying to tank and soak all of the damage this was a good a good strategy now here you can see obviously the power loss was much closer on this one and again uh, this is all tier four deads versus all tier five deads but the kill point trade was about even okay actually a little bit higher kill points on the garrison as well so t-shirt took the damage so that way the other rallies could perform super well and i think that that is a great strategy especially for kvk1 this is 
probably what I would have done as well. If you had like a true Kraken, then you would probably have a Pyrus here maybe, but even still super impressive for the first rally. And of course, while they're still filling the hospital, the rally reports aren't going to be nearly as impressive as they are going to be later down the line. So here you can see uh, the different, you know, stats for the troops. And of course, you know, we already know the garrison is, is super powerful. Here you can see the rest of the other buffs from that first um, infantry rally there. And now we're going to get a look at what the next round of rallies actually looks like. You could see that t-shirt starts hitting once again with the Martel Richard, just trying to soak up and tank all of that initial damage, uh, because that, I mean, you basically have to in this scenario. Otherwise you have minimum to Tao Tao, very, very, very squishy uh even thutmo's ysg very squishy remember there's no relics here okay there's no museum buffs so all of these are just their vanilla builds um and so yeah they, they basically have to have a tanking army in order to even attempt something like this and you can see they're down to 135 million uh t-shirt is in the yellow pretty quickly there it looks like the other rallies launched slightly later than possibly they would have wanted to but even still a very nice coordination here you see the damage dealing rallies are doing their thing man and you can see that the white numbers um still look like they are mostly in favor of the garrison right now but with all the skill damage that they are taking i i zoomed in here just for video purposes but with all the skill damage that the garrison is taking uh we'll be able to take a look here now you can also see um in the top left we see uh kingdom 25 also with another uh with another rally a fourth rally this is a i think it's a minimoto tsao tsao as well yep there it is minimoto tsao tsao um i don't think i got any of the reports from 25 if i did maybe we had just a couple but 25 was definitely supporting with multiple rallies throughout this entire thing um here you can see it's a 64 million power player leading that goddess that goddess mika player uh leading the minimoto rally from 25 so another shout out to 25 as well as uh 27 here and uh yeah you could just see that the quadruple rally against this dude and this is how hard it is to take down a whale of this size a kraken of this size uh in kvk1 so yeah I, I definitely think this dude was at least fifty thousand into this account i i really do i think it's at least fifty thousand dollars um that's what some other players are reporting or what they suspect and after that 4x rally that 4x coordinated rally he's down to 122 million power his kill points also up to 715 million and he's got 6.6 .6 million dead troops now which is getting kind of uh kind of scary so here we have the cavalry rally from ghost this was the second one we see a 2.1 million power loss for the rally 4.1 million power loss for the garrison and of course a two to one kill point trade so you could still see he's gaining some sev wounds here uh but mainly like that hospital is is big filled boys it is big filled this was the report from 25 this was the rally that hit last the fourth rally 146,000 deads to 200,000 deads we see 668,000 power lost to 2 million power lost over here so really uh impressive stuff here we have the second t-shirt rally this is the a tanking infantry rally and you could see once again we see a lot of the power loss coming from the infantry here right so the infantry reports aren't really going to be the best ones here but you'll notice here that it is trading better now so before they actually slightly lost the kill point trade now even the infantry tanking rally is winning the kill point trade we see 458,000 dead tier fours to 286,000 dead tier fives over on the uh, garrison side so yeah this is going to be a slow and long process the entire thing took about two hours guys so if you think this video is long the whole thing took about two hours which is actually crazy if you think about season of conquest and how quickly you could zero a player in season of conquest it's it's never that you see a two hour situation right this was the second uh, archer rally with the thutmose ysg so we see this one is trading really well 1.6 million power loss for the rally 4.3 million power loss for the garrison we see 361,000 deads of tier four against 443,000 dead tier five so more than double kill point trade here and this one we actually got the report from and this is how I know that the most YSG was in fact uh expertise so you can see some of the work that you could do here with the and kvk1 is wild and you might even be able to use the and kvk2 for rallies as well I haven't I haven't kept up with the kvk2 rally meta but I feel like the is actually good like he's actually pretty decent now of course 
you've got banana helmet you know he's good for kvk too but really i would almost rather expertise thutmos than edward because i don't know once you take relics into account in season of conquest i feel like the most might be better <laughs> poor edward just sucks but anyway here you can see the rallies have resumed and you'll notice that the kingdom 25 rally actually hit first before the tanking rally unfortunately and you can see just how quickly that Minamoto goes to yellow. I mean, it's basically within a couple of seconds, it goes to yellow. So here you can see it's a Minamoto YSG, actually. Um, I think they're just trying to maximize that big skill damage. So that way they can, you know, obviously just deal as much damage as possible. And I mean, things are, things are going well. Obviously the timing there was a little off, but they do have four rallies on the city. Um, so it's just a matter of who's going to take over the tanking after the 25 rally is either canceled or dies, depending on how they actually go ahead and do that. But yeah dark Khan is uh really struggling here boys he is really struggling 4x rallied back to back to back 4x rallies it's actually quite disgusting how much money was put into this account that is just getting deleted here in kvk1 by the way kvk how do you lose that many troops in kvk1 bro like oh my god anyway you saw there he's down to 114 million already which is just ridiculous and the other thing too to remember with the richard in the rally yes their main goal is to tank and to heal but the richard debuff is actually pretty crazy it's really going to help out the other rallies just maximize their damage output obviously martel isn't really putting out that much damage but the Minamoto Tsao Tsao certainly is, and the Thutmose YSG, of course, is as well. So, so here you can see after that round of rallies, he's down to 109.9 .9 million power with 742 million kill points. So we've got quite a ways to go here, ladies and gentlemen, but they are chugging along. Here we've got the Cavalry Rally from Ghost, and you can see that we've got almost a three to one power loss trade here. Same thing with the kill points, 180,000 deads on the rally, 280,000 deads from the garrison, still getting some sev wounds over here. Uh, so still slowly filling up pro probably mostly siege at this point, that little, uh, that extra siege capacity that you get in your, in your hospital here, we've got the archer rally, the Thutmose YSG with 867,000 power loss to 3.5 million, bro. Oh my God. The archer rallies are popping off, bro. 187,000 deads for the rally, 343,000 deads for the garrison. A better than three to one kill point trade here, and things are starting to look spicy. At this point, I got a scout report, and we've still got tons of resources in the city, and he's down to 5.8 million units. So remember, he started with over 10 million. So yeah, this is, Ooh, baby. He's getting clapped boys. He's getting clapped here. We have the most recent tanking rally and the Charles Richard trading slightly positive in terms of kill points. There definitely positive in the power department, but yeah, 152,000 deads for the rally, 86,000 deads for the garrison and uh, a small amount of slightly wounded there. I was talking to a bunch of players from kingdom 3327 during this entire thing. And Savage said he went crazy. That's so much money to be caught lacking. I don't think he ever thought we'd be dumb enough to pull this off. I know his kingdom is watching this with the Shane Gillis face. Oh, dude. I think this is the meme he's referring to. And yeah, if I was in his kingdom, that would probably be me watching him getting zeroed right now. This is going on so long. I had to get another drink here. You can see he's up to almost 8 million dead troops. My God, here you can see the rally from 25 comes in once again, off timing. I'm not sure if they were actually trying to time with 25 or if they were just trying to coordinate 27 and 25 was just throwing their rallies in there when they could. But if I just pause on here for a second, you're going to see 10,000 uh, for the white numbers on the garrison and 26,000 white numbers for the rally. So, uh, in just a second here, you're going to see the 25 rally gets canceled. This was a Minamoto Tsao Tsao. One of the rallies was Minamoto YSG earlier. That Minamoto Tsao Tsao was not really doing it all by itself. And it was probably smart for them to cancel it because they were taking massive skill damage from the YSG as well, which was too bad because just a moment later we saw t-shirts rally come in here and, uh, actually start tanking. So there we have the tank rally is hitting. We have the cavalry ghost army coming in from the bottom left here. And this was a pretty well-timed round. I would say, obviously with the exception of that, uh, 25 rally, unfortunately. So again, this is, this is what you want to do, man. This is the only real way to, uh, to zero a player like this. Now I'm basically kind of waiting, like, where's the archer rally? Where's the archer rally? Where's it? Hello. Hello. Um, I think the arch rally does come in just a minute. Uh, so, okay. I guess I was wrong. I guess the timing was a little bit off for this round of rallies, but even still the double rally is way better than nothing. Okay. So really nice stuff here. Um, congrats to those guys for timing a lot of this stuff. I think, I think, believe, I believe t-shirt was telling me that he was at work while this was happening. So like, 
you can imagine how hard it is to sort of coordinate this sort of thing while not being able to give the game your full attention right so uh, that's kind of the the struggle some of the things that go into stuff like this you gotta you gotta remember that it's not always going to be perfect but both rallies down to yellow at this point and uh they are really chugging along and not sure where that archer rally is uh, i don't know if they maybe i missed it maybe it was mistimed earlier but that archer rally is just not coming in it is quite late at this point but yeah um this is guys it, it is so uncommon to see a a player this powerful this much power you can see i'm checking there i'm like where's the archer rally um it's so uncommon to see a player with this much power kind of just get zeroed in kvk1 it's i don't understand it at all like how do you have that much money to just let it go down the drain man i don't i don't know it's i, I i'm jealous in fact i wish i i've never even gotten to 180 million power in my entire rise of kingdoms career i've never been that much i, I think i was like 100 million power at one point uh and that was it maybe 105 i don't even remember what my highest power ever was but yeah i've never had as much power as this dude and he just doesn't log in for a week after losing kvk while still on the kvk map brother what are you doing that's insane but regardless um he's down to 102 million here and they're just letting these rallies rock man they're just letting it go they're just gonna let it roll and uh we'll see how it goes so yeah it's it's kind of unfortunate that that archer rally i don't know if it if i missed it if it like hit before the tanking rally and all that stuff um but yeah we see here that this dong player i don't know if i pronounced that right but he's actually swarming with um the bjorn and with the ethel fled which guys i don't recommend swarming players over 100 million even if you're in season of conquest unless obviously you're a mega whale but to swarm a player like this with epic commanders and an ethel fled is huge huge hospital bills okay now of course it does help a little bit because the ethel fled debuff is going to be really impressive for uh the rallies hitting of course there is a debuff on the bjorn as well um so i don't know what that duong's player i don't know what their what their deal was uh that was a player from 25 maybe they are a t5 player i have no idea um not really sure there but yeah they're trying to get the debuffs in there to make the rallies uh hit harder and that is a good strategy but it will definitely cost them quite the hefty hospital bill themselves here we see savage letting us know yeah we're getting flustered we messed up the archer rally that's totally fine i must have missed it before you know it is what it is it was only i think it was actually only there for about a minute or something like that so really you didn't miss much but yeah after that round he's down to 99.3 million power i believe this was the minimoto rally we just saw we saw a 2.2 million power loss for the rally and a 5.1 million power loss for the garrison so despite missing the timing on the rallies you know before we had a 4x rally combo Combo. here we only had a 2x rally combo and the Minamoto Tato is still double trading on the power trades and of course double trading on the kill point trade as well so 402,000 deads for the rally 512,000 deads for the garrison and still some sev wounds going on over here for the garrison so not really sure if that's just like people reinforcing the city or what's going on now here we see the tanking side of that rally and even the tank rally is double trading power at this point i mean this is 393,000 deads for the rally 381,000 tier 5 deads for the garrison and you can see that the rally like i said before is all tier 4 guys i think i'll show that a little bit later down the line but yeah the garrison is is really struggling here we have almost a double kill point trade uh on, on this one as well which is just nuts and here we see the timing was messed up a little bit once again with the archer rally hitting first the Thutmose YSG definitely not the army that you want to be tanking but it was just off by a little bit you can see the rest of the rallies coming in from the left here we see next is the cavalry cavalry rally is hitting then you see the other cavalry rally from I believe 25 starts hitting and then we see t-shirts rally start hitting there and we see also the king skill used which was a great strategy I believe that was 25 used the king skill possibly it was ghost I don't know uh, I wasn't paying attention there but yeah here you can see uh we got four four rallies once again and I turned off simplify graphics just to give you guys an idea as to how many troops um were involved in the zeroing of just a single player guys a single player takes this much coordination and time and effort and troops to zero in kvk1 it is actually quite the undertaking I don't know what this Matthias guy was doing up there with his CPO but 
yeah the four rallies uh they break after the the player was burned here we got the archer rally from chase we see 823,000 power loss for the rally and 3.3 million power loss for the garrison oh my god that is a 4x power trade ladies and gentlemen of course we see a, a three times kill point trade here with 178,000 deads for the rally 334,000 deads for the garrison and these reports are starting to look pretty nasty boys they're starting to look pretty uh pretty disgusting dark con is down to 92 million power after that last 4x rally round with 774,000 kill points at this point here we have the t-shirt rally this was the tanking rally that unfortunately did not end up tanking but we still see a three to one power trade here three to one kill point trade and this was when they switched over to the YSG so basically they decided that uh you know now that he's under 100 million power they just wanted to get more damage on the board here and this is where if you were doing like full DPS infantry rallies you probably would rather have a Pyrus instead of the Martel here I'm not super sure you guys again you can correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong about that I don't know for sure what the infantry rally meta is in kvk1 if there even is one i don't know how many people rally with infantry that early on in the game but uh anyway you could see of course the trades were much better with ysg especially because they weren't actually tanking and if you were wondering they do have the expertise to ysg as well it's unfortunate that 50 percent skill damage bonus is just going to waste with that charles martel now before i could even get the uh cavalry rally report from that last round we see 25 launching once again and now they're just rapid firing sending out these rallies um at this point i don't even know if they were trying to time them and sync them up because uh i mean you know when he's 153 million power you gotta sync him up but at this point you know you probably just want to try to burn him as fast as possible in case he logs in unfortunately the white numbers still in favor of the garrison so uh yeah you got to keep that in mind here this dude is still an absolute giga chad so they do it go ahead and cancel it there but this was the rally that we just saw from ghost so not that rally that just got canceled but the one before that during the 4x rally this was the ghost rally and we see a three to one power trade once again from the minamoto tsao we see 99,000 deads for the rally 150,000 deads for the garrison and a better than two to one kill point trade here for that uh rally as well so really good stuff here and then comes the next round of rallies so the 25 rally again just hit a little bit early there but we see the t-shirt come in and actually get the tank here and now we've got the tank with the ysg so we're gonna see how the uh, martel ysg can tank with out the richard and you can see here right after that we have a perfectly coordinated uh minamoto rally hitting from ghost and of course chases archer rally hitting from the bottom there and this is going to hurt ladies and gentlemen turning off the simplify graphics just to see the absolute madness and of course the garrison already on yellow so this is the nail in the coffin guys it is really starting to uh it's really starting to look like dark Khan is just not gonna log in from 153 million power in kvk1 he's just gonna he's just gonna die he's just gonna let his account get zero bro now look i, I gotta be clear okay because every time i make a video about a, a crack and getting zeroed uh it is important to remember that like people do have lives outside of the game who knows what could have happened in this player they could have had an emergency they could have you know something could have happened and so you know i do want to be clear that like um you know it's not that this player is bad at the game per se they could have had a lot of things going on in their life that are just more important than a video game and i totally understand that after that round of rallies you can see he's down to 85.5 million power and 784 million kill points taking a look at the archer rally you could see that we've got 489,000 power loss for the rally and 2.2 million power loss for the garrison boys oh my god 103 thousand deads for the rally 202,000 dead for the garrison and we've got a four to one kill point trade let's go they are really starting to cook with gas now taking a look at the tank rally with the martel ysg we see this traded really well 572,000 power loss for the rally 1.8 million power loss for the garrison we've got 127,000 deads for the rally 186,000 deads for the garrison and we have basically almost a three to one kill point trade here which is really good for the tanking rally so definitely uh i'm sure they will take that every day of the week taking a look at the ghost rally with the minimoto tsao tsao we see a two to one power loss trade here 375,000 deads for the rally 410,000 deads for the garrison and a two to one kill point trade more or less really impressive stuff here remember guys this is all tier four 
hitting this dude city against all tier fives just to be clear i'm not exaggerating it is literally a single tier five rally leader and the rest of the troops are tier four like it's not hyperbole like this is actually almost 100 percent tier fours taking down a tier five player taking a look at the cavalry rally again single tier five leader the rest of them are tier four it's all tier four now this is the most recent cavalry rally and we see 603,000 power loss for the rally 1.9 power loss for the garrison boys 106,000 deads for the rally 187,000 deads for the garrison and we've got a three to one kill point trade almost which is that's starting to be the norm now that is that is the norm for these rallies once again full tier four we even see oh we got a couple tier fives in there okay we got a couple tier fives but for the most part this is probably like 90 percent tier four units okay even the tanking infantry rallies are a single tier five player with everyone else being tier four boys it's crazy look at this this is why people play rise of kingdoms right here this one hurt my soul this one hurt my soul because the t-shirt rally is so close but the archer rally it's just closer oh my god ah there it is that the most hits first unfortunately the archers will be tanking this one uh t-shirt coming in just a couple of seconds later unfortunately we've got once again it is the martel with ysg we've got the minamoto Tsao Tsao and the same archer rally that you've seen before so again very good coordination for the triple rally unfortunately it was just the wrong tanking army once again but it is what it is uh again that there's there's a lot going into something like this and then right afterwards you see from the bottom 25 coming in there with their minamoto so uh, at least 25 wasn't um you know tanking by themselves once again so here we've got the 4x rally and they are popping off ladies and gentlemen look at the oh my god the troops on the screen it is actually wild how much time and effort it takes to zero a player this strong in kvk1 uh it's just i mean to throw that many troops away bro oh my god all four of them pop the city he's down 80.6 million power after that round so oh it is looking bad for darkon taking a look at the archer rally remember this is the one that was just tanking we have 570,000 power loss for the rally 2.4 million power loss for the garrison 122,000 deads for the rally 243,000 deads for the garrison 4.8 million kill points to 1.3 million kill points here we've got the t-shirt rally that hit right after 250,000 power loss of the rally 729,000 power loss for the garrison 55k deads to 73k deads and we have a three to one kill point trade in favor of the rally 1.5 million to 500,000 and I was honestly confused here like how is he still getting sub wounds if you guys know the answer to that let me know but uh if I click here like look dark Khan is still getting sev wounds i'm pretty sure it's only siege if i'm not mistaken yeah it's tier one siege so is he still filling the bonus capacity from his siege i guess maybe he just had like basically no siege in his city when this happened i have no idea of course some of the uh some players are reinforcing right like this ted player is reinforcing so that's where some of the sev wounds came from but yeah it's still it's crazy how many rallies he's taking and somehow there's still a, there's still a handful of sev wounds being collected and you can see he's down to 2.8 million units from over 10 million it is actually crazy easy guys oh my god now this was actually a report that was sent to me from t-shirt you can see t-shirt was garrisoning a building flag i believe and got 40.5 million kill points off of just dark con alone if i'm not mistaken 14.3 million kill points over there he said this report was from dark con 5 march swarming his flag so it's not like dark con was just like dead weight like this dude was actually fighting during kvk pretty crazy and then just gets zeroed here we have the most recent minamoto rally we have 388,000 power loss for the rally 1.3 million power loss for the garrison 67,000 deads to 133,000 deads and we have a three to one kill point trade with 2.6 million kill points for the rally and 872,000 kill points for the garrison here we have the ghost rally coming in out of nowhere uh i guess the timing was off for this one as well i think they cancel this one pretty soon after it starts hitting uh the white numbers are pretty even though at this point which is actually pretty good um and of course you know they're 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 actually doing pretty good here i don't remember if they actually canceled this one or not but finally the white numbers are uh are even on both sides with just a single rally so of course you know the ysg skill shots are still gonna hurt pretty bad to be honest with you guys from that uh from that garrison but 
I mean, the Minamoto Tau Tau still hits like a truck when we're talking about, you know, just single target, right? So here you can see the garrison actually gets to yellow first, which is impressive. And uh, it's doing its thing, man. They're they're just going to let this one ride out. We got the we got the ghost rally just 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 popping off, basically. Now I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit here, but the timing was definitely off for these rallies. I think at this point they weren't even really bothering to time it because they could they knew that they could just kind of rapid fire them off. But as soon as the uh, as soon as the ghost rally disappears, we see the Thutmose rally comes in. So they're down to 76 million power after that Minamoto rally with Tao Tao, almost 800 million kill points. Now they're down to 75 million power with this Thutmose YSG just popping off, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, this is where like, again, the white numbers are pretty close. We've got the t-shirt rally coming in here. Unfortunately, I, you know, obviously we would have liked to see the t-shirt rally hit first, but regardless, um, I think they're at a point now where they really can just kind of just pop these just pop these rallies and, and just get this dude burnt because you know they they've come so far at this point that they would hate for him to log in right like they really want the zero they want to really get this guy zeroed uh and get all the resources at least to kind of compensate for all the troops that they're pretty much throwing away here right like they didn't have to zero this guy they could have just let him live they could have saved all their troops right but they just wanted to i guess rub some salt in the wound of 3326 who took the l from this kbk so now we've got another double rally scenario here against Dark Khan, and uh, it ain't gonna be good, boys. It ain't gonna be good, that's for sure. So the double rally ends with 71.9 million power for Dark Khan, 806 million kill points, finally breaking that 800 million kill point barrier. Yeah, you can see it's mostly tier four. Here we've got over 11 million deads on, on his account, which is wild. Here's the Thumbo's YSG rally. We've got 653,000 power loss for the rallies, 3.5 million power loss for the garrison. We have 140,000 deads for the rally, 347,000 deads for the garrison and bro we got almost 7 million kill points on the rally with 1.5 million kill points for the garrison oh man it hurts it definitely hurts that is an insane trade we're starting to see some insane trades boys and here we have the ghost rally minimoto tsao tsao 1.2 million power loss for the rally 4.4 million power loss for the garrison and you could see that the archer rallies are really trading well they're really trading well now of course the ghost was actually uh tanking there but i think the archer was i believe yeah the thumbos was tanking as well so I don't know the archer rallies are really insane here in this kvk but 215,000 deads for the rally 437,000 deads for the garrison 8.7 million kill points for the rally and 2.7 million kill points for the garrison actually insane guys actually insane stuff here and then we see the 25 rally comes in here with the king skill solo rallying dark con with the uh minamoto i think it's minamoto tau tau right minamoto and ysg okay we see the minamoto ysg once again uh and the ysg really does hit like a truck in this game mode guys like it, in this kvk one oh my god dude it's actually kind of insane so yeah i guess uh it makes a lot of sense for them and plus the skill damage bonus on ysg does help out the skill damage on, on uh, minamoto a little bit so they're they're burning them boys they are burning them the white numbers are pretty even on both sides slightly positive it looks like for the uh rally and except for obviously when martel pops his active skill he gets pretty strong for a few turns so yeah really impressive stuff here if we skip ahead just a little bit uh you'll see that the 25 rally is still hitting while we've got the um the i think the archer rally is coming up, coming up from the bottom there or are we just swarming now we might be just swarming this might be just a couple of swarms hitting this dude so he's down to 68.9 million 810 million power uh sorry 810 million kill points there and uh i think people are i think people are swarming him a little bit here but there's still a little bit uh a little bit too many troops i think to be swarming in kvk1 but here you can see the martel ysg rally coming in with 136,000 power loss for the rally 533,000 power loss for the garrison 30k deads for the rally 53k deads for the garrison and we have a three to one kill point positive trade for the rally next we have another archer rally coming in here from chase on the bottom there that thutmos ysg is just the worst enemy of this dark on city it looks like it's not even full right like didn't it, it started at that uh so yeah it's definitely starting to hurt these dudes to to be taking this dude out but it is what it is he's down to 68 million and we've got the t-shirt rally coming in here this is once again a martel ysg uh that is the remainder of the tank rallies off from t-shirt which makes a lot of sense they need the damage here at this point they really want to get this dude zeroed and then ghost comes in from the bottom left corner corner with the minamoto tau tau once again to pop off and uh yeah this is this is what it looks like to zero 153 million power player in kvk1 like and a ridiculous amount 
of troops are needed to get this done and there he goes the city is burning and he is down to 65.4 million power with 817 million kill points and you can see once again look that Vermouth, that vermouth player is still sending resources to him like what is going on there bro if he's getting quadruple rallied like he ain't coming on okay you're, i don't know what, what your resources are doing i'm not sure what's going on there but anyway here we have the thutmose ysg uh, i guess maybe it was full i i don't know i don't know what was going on there but 404,000 power loss to 2.7 my goodness 84,000 deads for the rallies 268,000 deads for the garrison and a greater than five to one kill point trade there from the archer rally absolutely impressive stuff popping off here we have the infantry rally 106 thousand power loss for the rally 358,000 power loss for the garrison 22k deads for the rally 35k deads for the garrison and we've got a almost three to one kill point trade there for the infantry which was nice scout report shows 1.3 million troops remaining which is uh he's getting zeroed boys he's going down we got the 25 rally coming in here once again from goddess mika the minamoto i think ysg is what they were using right nope it's out this time minamoto Tsao coming in there hitting solo and popping off this dude is going down ladies and gentlemen he's going down now i did not get that 25 rally report but ghost comes in here with his minamoto Tsao and then shortly after we see the thutmose ysg come in from the bottom another double rally attempt here from kingdom 3327 uh and it's it's starting to show it's starting to show uh it looks like this dude spent 50k on an account that he's just not gonna log into i don't know what's going on here um not really sure if he's watching let us know in the comment section below if you uh like what happened here i don't know but he's down to 60.2 million and there is the t-shirt rally coming in from the left side so they are just back to back popping off on this dude and they're getting they're getting antsy you can see this dude over here they're getting antsy they want they want those resources they're foaming at the mouth for those resources and they just want this dude dunzo so uh yeah it is it looks like criminal over there was tanking for the rally which is kind of funny but this is where raz told me he's been offline for a week now so again not really sure what the strategy is there after that last round of rallies he's down to 58.1 million power he's getting there boys he is getting there now here we have a rally coming in from farm lord in 25 this is a minamoto ysg so it looks like they're going back and forth minamoto tsao minamoto ysg uh and we've got this rally coming in here just popping off it looks like they canceled it right away people are starting to swarm him down he's down to 56.7 million people really want those resources but they ain't gonna swarm them unless there's a rally hit and then here we see ghosts minamoto coming in with the archer rally from the bottom and uh at this point they really don't need to be double rallying it would make more sense to do back to back to back because once the health bar goes down then it cancels both rallies uh but it is what it is latest scout report shows 283,000 troops in the city oh he's still juicy on the resources though he's still a little bit juicy there low on the gold but juicy here we've got the t-shirt rally coming in from the bottom once again and now people are starting to swarm they're starting to swarm they know it it's over for dark Khan it is ogre and here's the swarms ladies and gentlemen he's down to 53.3 uh and people are just going nuts now people are just going nuts they don't know how many troops he has le have has left but they know it's less than 200k pretty much so they don't even care they just figured you know what let's just do it let's just go in let's just go all in it doesn't even matter that we're tier four players at this point we're just gonna swarm them down uh and it's happening it is happening 100 and at max power he was 180 million he probably spent 50 grand for kbk1 look at the madness on the screen right here look at that madness it's actually insane um so for him to to kind of have this happen i don't know i don't know bro i'm just i'm just i'm just rambling i'm just yapping at this point but as you can imagine this went on for uh this went on for a while he had a, he had a lot of resources so yeah he's the uh whew. yeah i mean look at this guys look at this it's just it's just chaos it's just madness it's just madness jesus bro oh my goodness 52.2 million power he's still he's still going down he's still got troops in the city somehow and every time i press this button we're jumping ahead 10 seconds so you could see it's uh it's over it's ogre ladies and gentlemen no more resources no more troops no more nothing 180 million down to zero Ooh, that is a classic rise of kingdoms moment everything is zero for dark Khan. talking to this chase player it says yeah i talked to the guy he owns his own company and made good money so i mean again that's all hearsay i don't know if that's true or not but let's take a look at the equipment for these rallies we have some really solid stuff here actually on the archer rally remember guys this is kvk1 
so we've already got the double blueprint for the weapon here really nice stuff really nice stuff okay it's not perfect okay it's not perfect we don't see any legendary accessories or anything like that but it's it's good okay this is good you saw the reports from the archers bro it's crazy he's got the two-piece set bonus here from the revival set he's got a four-piece set bonus from the uh, legendary set and it's nice taking a look at t-shirts gear from the tanking rallies we see that he's actually got really good stuff here as well we've got shio's return with the special talent for the boots we've got the hope cloak double hope cloak over here we've got the iconic uh helmet here with the set piece so no set piece bonus unfortunately but that's honestly okay we've got the blue shield with the talent this is probably the best thing that you can do in kvk1 maybe you could argue the sakura fubuki is better because you don't have the crystal tech giving you bonus attack for this kvk but either way honestly i think this is perfectly fine you definitely do not need eternal light for the legs here for kvk1 it just doesn't doesn't really move the needle unless you get super lucky with the crit I guess but yeah nice stuff plus the dagger I mean whew, I'll take it unfortunately I don't have the equipment or anything from the garrison or from the Minamoto from ghosts rallies but uh yeah 52 million power for dark Khan and 834 million kill points majority of which obviously are tier four and here we see 13.8 million dead troops oh baby that hurts that hurts First of all, I want to give a quick shout out to Kel Caution Wetmont. This is the player that let me know that this zeroing was happening over on my Discord. And if you guys ever want me to catch you guys zeroing another player or some crazy action happening in your KVK, my Discord link is actually in the description below. Go ahead and join my Discord. And that's going to be where you have the best chance of pinging me, letting me know that something is going down in your kingdom. And if you want me to cover it either in a video or if I happen to be live at the time, definitely join my Discord. So shout out to Kel from 3327 for letting me know. Huge shout out, of course, to T-shirt for the infantry rallies and uh you know I talked to the guy during this whole thing seems like a chill dude really appreciates sending me all those uh, rally reports and everything of course shout out to Chase for making the archer rallies possible and for showing off their gear here some really impressive stuff for kvk1 shout out to ghost for leading those Minamoto Tsao Tsao rallies really popping off there and I think there was a couple of people from kingdom 3325 launching rallies so shout out to those guys as well anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video I hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing on the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and comment down below letting me know what you think about this entire scenario give me your thoughts give me your opinions and do you want to see more videos like this one if you comment down below that's how I'm going to know with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace